With Cao Cao unable to strike, Liu Bei turned his attention away from Sun Quan and built up his military forces. He then invaded four of the territories in southern Jing. Upon being sent to attack Changsha, Guan Yu found himself face to face with a most powerful opponent. It was the veteran general Huang Zhang, who served beneath Han Xuan, the prefect of Changsha. Han Xuan is a weakling. But if he has experienced officers in his ranks, then this may take some time. Against you, Lord Guan Yu. Do what you will with us, but please spare the innocents in the castle. Our brother will treat you all with mercy. And so, Liu Bei obtained the four territories of Southern Jing, as well as the skilled officers Wei Yan and Huang Zhang. He was also joined by the strategist Pang Tong, who is said to be a match for even Zhuge Liang himself. Meanwhile, in return for his assistance at Chirbi, Sun Quan demanded that Liu Bei hand over Jing. Zhuge Liang replied only that they would eventually return the province, but he did not give a clear answer as to when. Furious though he was, Sun Quan deemed it too dangerous to attack Liu Bei at that time. Instead, he sent his younger sister, Sun Xiangxiang, to marry Liu Bei in the hope that it would improve relations between the two kingdoms. It was then that Liu Bei received a request for reinforcements from Liu Zhang of Yi. Fearful of Cao Cao after his conquering of Guangzhou, he had come to ask his relative Liu Bei for assistance. Zhuge Liang and Pang Tong recommended that they go on the pretense of assisting Liu Zhang, but then attack him instead. The land of Yi to the west, also known as Ba Shu, if Liu Bei could capture that territory, then the land would be divided in three between Cao Cao, Sun Quan, and himself. This was the path to his land of virtue. This was Zhuge Liang's Three Kingdoms strategy. Though he did move to assist Pang Tong and the others, Liu Bei did not attack Liu Zhang. Even standing before Yi's Loa Castle, he did not make a move. For within him was a virtuous heart that he could not turn against. Mm-hmm. So you won't consider attacking Chengdu, huh? I cannot betray Lord Liu Chang. But my lord, the people of Yi province desire your rule. Silence. My army stays put. That is an order. Now then, I hope you don't mind helping me out, lads. Not at all! I crush enemy!
I suppose we should get moving. We're likely to be noticed if we just hang out around. Understood. Loa Castle is a near impregnable fortress, and the enemy knows we are coming. With my lords Wang Zhong and Wei Yan in our ranks, we cannot fail. Hang Tong, I will need you to assist Wei Yan. I will make for Luo Castle from the north. Added to our collection. Lord Wei Yan has been ambushed. I appreciate his enthusiasm, but Lord Wei Yan needs to realize how valuable he is to our cause. You were called to help us fight South, and now you turn your blades on us. Let's see what you think of this. You think you can outsmart me? Don't make me laugh. You will learn to regret this moment. Hey, I defeated an officer. For Liu Bei, I fight, kill, enemy. Why don't you relax a little, hmm? Overzealousness will just play into the enemy's hands. Look at that! Another area added to our collection! You have truly earned your reputation. Such a display will boost the morale of our troops. Not bad for a greenhorn. You've got me feeling young again. Fight me now for okay, glory. Must retreat. This is not the end. This is as far as you go. Let's see what you think of this. Well, well. This is a pain in the neck. No way! There is no point going this way. We must find another path. I shall return. Remember that. For yours is the first head I shall seek. Hey, I defeated an officer. Bring 
forward the thief, Liu Bei. I am here to administer his punishment. Wang Zhong is in position to execute the ambush. What should we do? To ensure the success of this plan, we need to draw out the enemies in front of the castle. But there are a few more of them than I thought. I don't like the idea of going up against them alone. Lord Zhuge Liang sends news. He has sent Lord Zhao Yun as backup. Well then, we should clear out the enemy by the river to ensure that he can arrive. Time. Looks like great minds think alike. This battle cannot be avoided if my lord is to achieve his goal. I will do what needs to be done. In that case, let's draw the enemy out. I must retreat. This is not the end. Regroup now. Our brother is a kind man. And as such, as his weakness here, it's our job to be his strength. Whoa! What an amazing fighter! This moment. Hey, I did it with an officer. I must retreat. This is not the end. 
Nice job, but still not quite up to my level. Fight me now, for glory! than I thought. Pang Tong, what have you done? Thank you! My lord! What is this? Hear those voices, my lord? The people of Yi province are happy. These people... They were waiting for me. Go on. Go to them. Excellent! This is... You... You're hurt! Uh, it seems... I'll be making my exit... earlier than planned. Duga Liang... It is in... your hands. Though Pang Tong was lost, cheers of joy from Liu Bei's army and his peasant followers flooded Loa Castle. Liu Bei could not help but think that this was not the right path. But to avenge Pang Tong's death, and to answer the fervent desires of the people of Yi, Liu Bei advanced his army on the Yi capital of Chengdu. For he had finally made up his mind to attack Liu Zhong. Meanwhile, hearing of Pang Tong's death, Zhuge Liang left Guan Yu in charge of Jing and set out to join the battle. He joined up with Liu Bei, and together they looked to swiftly capture Chengdu. Driven by the lost dreams of his fallen friend and ally, The dragon would soar over the hills of Yi, where the feathers of the phoenix lay scattered in the wind. If we can 